hello beautiful family how are you all doing thank you for the love the support i just can't thank you enough so my beautiful people today i have a quick one to share with you hey wonders they say shall never end everything is happening we are watching and everything is happening our brother <laughs> just sent a message of which you don't need to miss out just list it to him it makes a lot of sense you can agree with him and you can also disagree with him but nevertheless let's list it to him and I'll be right back. Um, good evening, everybody. Um, this particular video is for the foreigners like me that reside in Israel. Um, if you're watching me or if you're under my voice this afternoon or this evening, um, I think it is high time we give back to this country that we are in it. Whether you're from South Africa, whether you're from Botswana, whether you're from Kenya, whether you're from Uganda, whether you're from Cameroon, whether you're from Nigeria, whether you're from Ghana, this is the high time we give back to the country that we are in it. Okay? I personally went to the police station this afternoon. When I got into the police station, they asked me, what do you want? I said, I want to assist the combatant. So, wow, how do you want to assist the combatant? I said, I live in Israel. I don't care which way I want to. They said, do you want to fight? I said, if it's come to it, why not? I live here. So I need to be protected from terrorists. They said, okay, you don't have to fight. You can assist the combatant. If you want to assist the combatant, yes, you can assist the combatant. And I asked, please, can I have any address or any contact how I'm going to assist the combatant? Uh, that give me a phone number that I should go to an organization. There is on an organization that at least try to feed and assist the combatants. They go to the war front and do what? Assist the combatants with what they may need. A short while, I saw a video on social media where uh, a military man was thanking people in Tel Aviv. If you want to watch that video, go to my TikTok. The video is on my TikTok right now. The full video where the militant, I mean, where the combatant was thanking people in Tel Aviv. He speak in English that, oh, thank you very much for the things you are sending. This is what you need to send. You don't have to send us snacks and all that. There is all this first aid. And there are things that the military man or people who climb mountains, do you understand me? There's kind of stuff that they normally need. So the combatant was trying to tell us, hey, listen, this is what you should need. Go to the, to, if you want to bring, go to the pharmacist, look for this first aid box and whatever. That is what you can give them. You don't give them, okay, uh, don't let me go too much on it. So, um, upon that, I did not call the number that the police gave me because it's Shabbat. On Shabbat, they may not pick the phone call. Why I was sitting down, I said, oh no, let me call Pastor Jeremiah. Pastor Jeremiah knows a lot about this country. Let me call Pastor Jeremiah. I called Pastor Jeremiah a while ago. I said, Pastor, please, I want to know, do you in any way have a way that you people are assisting the, the soldiers? He said, yes, 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 yes. We are contributing money to, maybe to buy the item they need or give the money to the organization to assist the soldiers on what they need. Ah, I said, okay, I'm going to make a video. I told myself I'm going to make a video and tell everybody in Tel Aviv, if you belong to a church, and your church does not know. I believe that every pastor in the country knows now. I mean, this is our local pastors. Or you go to Pastor Jeremiah's office and do your own quarter. Trust me. In a time like this, the country needs you. This country has blessed a lot of you. This country has sent a lot of your children to universities. This country has blessed each and every one of you more than your own country. I understand. You work for your money. It is your sweat but they accommodate you. Nobody attack you, or nobody's fighting you or beating you to go back home and all that. It doesn't work like that. So I believe it's time to give back. Israel need you. All foreigners in Tel Aviv, the country need you. Israel needs you. Even if it's 200 shekel, $50, go and contribute for more blessings. I'm not begging you. I'm not here to beg people to go and support them. The country does not need your money. But when it comes to a time like this, 
it is time to show love to a country that accommodates you for years. When you are sick, if you don't have money, the ambulance will come and pick you, whether you have money or not. They're going to take care of you. It is the government that is going to pay. I'm not here to make you angry. Please, this is the time that Israel needs us. Somebody must support Israel. No matter what, somebody must support somebody. Some of you are bitter inside. Even staying in Israel, you are still bitter inside with the country. This is not the time. If you think Israel is not sweet enough for you, cross to the other side, no problem. But as far as I'm concerned, nobody that is a foreigner in this country that is not blessed by the state of Israel. Yes, it's a blessing to each and every one of us. And this is time to give back to the state of Israel. They are not writing you a letter to come and help them. It is just people who sit together and say, oh, we need to, just like I went to the police station. The police were, the police, the police were like, they are not asking me if I'm a foreigner, like, you, you want to fight? How do you want to help? I say, yes, if needed be, I will. I'm not a trained fighter, but it takes only a few minutes. For me, it takes only a few minutes to, I know say all those climbing and all that, and I understand, but when it comes to play time like this, we go to clear the road, they go for or we day for back. They supply them with whatever they need. We need peace in Jerusalem. We need peace in Israel. We need peace in Palestinians. We need peace in Gaza. We need peace in Jericho. We need peace in Nazareth. We need peace in Bethlehem. We need peace in West Bank. And if you don't fight the terrorists out, there will be no peace. Yeah, I'm telling you the truth. The people that give us problems in this world are the radical Muslims. Why do you think Saudi Arabia is not supporting them in Palestine? Palestine doesn't go to Saudi Arabia. Muslims are divided. And they are part of those Muslims that are terrorists. Muslims have, will have been the best... Muslim have, will have been the best religion if not for the division. Why do you think these people don't go to Saudi Arabia? <laughs> they want to claim Jerusalem to be their Saudi Arabia. They don't want to go to Saudi Arabia. <laughs> think. All those people you see in Europe carrying flag of Palestine, some of them, they are ignorant. They don't know what is really going on. They don't know what is going on. Like, you born a child, you begin to brainwash the child, believing that there are certain parts of people who are not supposed to live this life. Oh, Jerusalem belongs to us. Jerusalem, Jerusalem belongs to the Jewish people. The honest truth and the honest bunch. Jerusalem belongs to the Jewish. They may be living side by side. Yes, it's true. But that particular place belongs to them. But that is not the case. They can live together in peace. Israel is not chasing the Arab away from the country. They have people who live in Jerusalem with them. They refuse to become one. There are people who live around here. There are people who are Arabs living around here. They are passing. Why I sit here, did they pass? Nobody is going there to say, hey, you are an Arab. No. It is always them to say, oh, this one is a Jew. Pa, you must, you must buy. They must buy you because you're a Jew. It's wrong. Let's continue to tell the truth. Let me tell you something. It's going to be hard for a Muslim to come and tell the truth on social media. Rather, it's going to come here and be radical. The ones that are going to tell the truth, they are afraid to come to social media and say it. They are going to say it inside their mind. And if you don't support, one thing about this radical Muslim is, if you don't support them, you are, they are going to, you are not living, you are not going to live. You are not living. If you don't support them, you know they live. That is why you see in Palestinian. They are in Gaza. They cannot talk. They are tired of those Hamas. Tired of them. But they, they are the one who is controlling the government. They have their government there. They have the president. You ask them, you have your president. What else do you want? Jew must not live. If you, if you still believe, you as a radical, you believe one day you are going to cleanse Israel, you are lying to yourself. You lie to yourself. If you believe that one day you, are li you live in a pipe dream, that one day, instead of you to think how to develop, how to be resourceful, infrastructure, how to create a job in Gaza, you are looking for Jews, years after years, looking for Jews. Why them? They are developing, they are doing everything. Look at it, look. You are all talented as Arab. Palestinians are talented in infrastructure. You know how to build infrastructure. You are good in it. Sell your market to the world. Africa is underdeveloped. Sell your skills to Africa. You can go to Africa, sell your skill to them. So show them how to build all these kind of houses you're building around here. 
Leave the war alone. You think some America is going to be sleeping while you pick up an object and say, oh, Jewish must not leave. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's go back to the drawing board and learn how to live in peace. Train your children to live in peace with other women. This is what we're talking about. I've been here for years. I want to go to Gaza. I'm afraid to go to Gaza. If you want to go to Gaza, the Israel soldier is going to ask you, what are you going to do in Gaza? What are you going to do there? Do you, do you feel me? So that makes me not even go to Gaza at all. Can't we, le can't we learn to live in peace? You cross the border. The reason why they put that border is because you are troublesome. Then they put the demarcate. You say, oh, they demarcate you. Oh, they demarcate you. Is that what Muhammad teach you? Who teach you that somebody else must not live? That is, I don't think that is Muhammad. I don't think so. I have my Quran, English Quran, but I did not bring it to Israel. I left it in South Africa. It was too late for me. I wanted to read that Quran so that I would use it to talk to some of you who are radical. Because if you read your Quran well, you are going to find out that they are blackmailing this man called Muhammad. I believe the radical Muslims are blackmailing Muhammad. as much as they say is there are places where Muhammad is preaching peace is it possible for Muhammad to preach peace and peace and also pre preach violence some of you Muslims you make us talk things that we are not supposed to talk I mean the radical ones it's the same thing going on in Nigeria now all of you for Nigeria we will never know what's in the world you now we will never know they are building up building up building up they are building up in Nigeria in southeast Nigeria they are building up the day where they go finish all of now for Indigo. Ibo, Ibo. Now, now they're the target. Ibo. If not be mass in the canoe. And the one where Simon Epa they do now. If I, if I be Simon Epa for don't leave you now. Me and they talk all the time. If not me, with all those things, I go leave them. Come out all those boys. Where they leave them, make they come, make a, when they come there, come kill their mama. God forgive me for saying this. It's not good. Let us tell ourselves the truth. You have to fight back. If you don't fight back radicals, I'm not preaching, I'm not preaching violence here. But I think if you don't fight back somebody that is beating you, he will take advantage and will continue coming all the time. So for those of you who are in Israel, go to Pastor Jeremiah and pay your due if you want. I'm not asking you, I'm not begging you to go. I'm going there now. I want to contribute to the country who make me what I am. I was born in Nigeria. I do all the things I could. I couldn't even build a house. I can't even build a house. But when I, the moment I step into this country, I begin to do well. Yes, I'm not working in an office. I don't work in an office. But with the little day, the, I, I was allowed the privilege of giving me a job. The privilege of giving me whatever. Whatever that they gave me, that I feed my family from. Trust me. State of Israel, I salute you. And we are with you. No matter what, we are in this together. Thank you very much. God bless you. If you are in Israel, go and contact your pastor, contact your local pastor to show your solidarity and support the ministry. If you don't have a pastor or you don't go to church, you can contact Pastor Jeremiah. Or better still, you contact me, I'll give you Pastor Jeremiah Church. Right now, I'm going to Pastor Jeremiah Church. It's in the office. I'm going to contribute. See, I never lost my money. Yeah, I'm going there to contribute my own quota. Mind you, Pastor Jeremiah did not call me to say, hey, come and contribute to. He didn't. If you watch my video from the beginning, I said I went to the police station. When I went to the police station, I told them that, hey, I'm here to contribute my quota. I think I want to help the military. Uh, yeah, the combatant. They say, you want to help the combatant? I say, yes. How? I say, anyhow, if it is about little money or whatever, or by fighting. No, I didn't say fight. They were the one who asked me, you want to fight? I said, why not? If somebody come in here and massacre children, <laughs> I'm for it. I can't stay, I can't, I can't. I say, I don't think you are going to fight. So he gave me a number that I'm going to contact, and I believe it's an organization. But because it's Shabbat, I didn't call that number. So I decided to call the pastor, because the pastors, uh, Pastor Jeremiah knows a look and clean of Israel so much. All the government is a bit them where we 
so when I called him, he said, yes, 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 there's a contribution going on. The pastors are contributing to, I believe they are going to give organization. When I get there, I'm going to get the information. And then I'm going there now to do my own little contribution. You see this one now? Not, not them. Wow. Now see the drug addicts. That one will lie down there now. Arab, be. Arab drug addicts. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you an update tomorrow. It's going to be a good night for me. Uh, as I'm walking towards the church, but the church is still far. A little bit far, but um, I'm going to walk up there. And then we go update tomorrow. Whatever, I don't know. The fight is still going on. No? They are still bombing. I believe they gave... Um, they gave Northern Gaza... How many minutes? They gave... Uh, Northern Gaza... Six more hours. Extra six hours. After 24 hours. They give them six more hours. So, maybe... By tomorrow now, if you don't they enter that place, I don't know. If you are going to Jerusalem, that's way to Jerusalem, you see? If you are going to Jerusalem, you go through there, if you are driving, you go through here, and then down to the tunnel, then you take right to Jerusalem. Hmm? In fact, I must be honest with you. The Christians are taking it too low. That's why these people are taking granted of, of, of us in Nigeria. Christians are just looking like uh, Mugu. They go come, buy all of them now. Benue State. All these people now, so they go enter, come, buy now. Nobody, the government cannot do anything. Why am I even talking about Nigeria self? I say I'm not going to talk about this thing. All those non Muslim Northerners. Now, so they go come, massacre all of them now. Everybody go, they look. And they are going to be calling you weak, weak, weak people. Weak. Muhammad Buhari came. He did what he could. Thousands there. Now so they take Una come out. Small, 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 small. Small, small. Now so they take Una generation they come out. If not for Simon and the Mazinam, they can. All those people were there for Bush. Where they saw, they see so. Now they fear them to enter there. Now they are using Nigerian soldiers to fight people who are protecting you in, in the eastern part of Nigeria. Are they wait for the day where those guys go pick one of those politicians? Pick one of those politicians. I'm not talking about the killer. Just pick him up and detain him. Leave him there. Go there there for inside bush with you now. Mosquito go the chopper. I don't know why our people are like this. I said I'm going to talk about Nigeria. I beg, it is what it is. Thank you very much. I have to go. As I say, I want to go. I will still be going. <laughs> this place used to be a club. Okay. I believe some of you are enjoying the atmosphere. So I'm going through that side to the church. I'm going to the church through this that side. You know. I lock my I beg, sir. I'm getting it. I'm So it is what it is, guys. Please, this video is for those who those of now know people for Israel. Make sure share this video for them. They should go and give back to country that make them what they are. Hundred dollar is not too much. $50 is not too much. $70 is not too much. You don't need to wait 
for you to be asked, say, ah, come and help the country. Oh, come and help the military. Come and help the combatant. You don't need to be told. You need to think like somebody that is blessed. That that land bless you, the land of Israel. Bless each and every one of you. Why don't you give your little support? Share it to reach your, bro your brothers. Money, where they go take go drink, Ogogoro? Money, where they go take go drink, Ogogoro? And Pekus, where they carry and go give, where they give the combatants. So just now, I'm waiting they want by now, kit. So if you want to watch those videos that the ministry did for us in Tel Aviv, the video that the ministry did to thank us in Tel Aviv, go and watch it on my TikTok travels vlog. I'm going to post that on my Twitter. I'm going to post it all on, also on my Twitter later when I get home. Yeah, I'm going to post it on my Twitter. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. As I get closer to the church, I'm going to say goodbye. I love you all. Peace. So, my wonderful family, that brings us to the end of this update. Do what to like the video, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and bye-bye.